Robert in Midvale, Utah. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo. Mo better because I'm have you seen Mo better. Look at Mo better. I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. When I cut the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses with the Photofusion photochromic blue and the blue protect anti glare coating on top of that. For his Oakley 8149, the Pitchman R Carbon 50 eye size color 03, polished clear. And let me back up by saying, yes, Robert's going to be my twin. I'm wearing the exact same frame, exact same type of progressive with the same type of Photofusion Blue and Blue Protect Anti-Glare Coating in my Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon frames. But... He is soon to be my vice president of sales for Southwest America because he is selling more frames for me than I can possibly do myself. He's helping me do my brands that I've created, my future brands. And I'm going to get to his, but I just want to quickly show you the Christian eyewear that I've come up with that initially is going to be in three colors. A shiny black, a wood color which is going to be called dogwood and then color three is majestic purple now each frame is going to come with either a silver cross or a gold cross and you'll have a corresponding color on the temple there this model number happens to be john 316 and i'm going to go ahead and make this into a larger size these are my first samples the manufacturer sent to me I'm going to make these, uh, make these larger. Now, the same exact size, the 52i size, is going to be available in model number Philippians 413, which is I can do all things through Christ. And they're going to come with clear lenses in it and a polarized rare earth magnetic clip-on. And same exact frame, same, well, the, the one with the clip-on is just going to be a tortoise, a shiny black, a tortoise, and... The purple but it's gonna come with uh, like I said the polarized clip but if you imagine take the cross off the both temples and put a pink ribbon now this was my wife's idea when I first started designing these she said well if you can put a cross on the side of a pair of temples can you put a pink ribbon because her family's been devastated by it and she wanted to show her support to her family and to anyone else who's having to go through it so pink ribbon here a pink ribbon here I can't I did not do a pink frame because it would be hard to have a pink ribbon on a pink frame. But that's coming in the future. We're going to figure out how to do that. But, so we have, you can go and sign up for the email at uh, the Christian Eyewear site is being built now. But you can already sign up for Cancer Ribbon Eyewear. That one is up and you can see the frames that are on there. Or, or the future frames. Or... Pretty soon, Jigsaw, hint, hint, Christian Eyewear. I know he's waiting on pictures for me for these, but by this weekend, this is May 7th. I'm hoping, I haven't talked to him about it, but by this Sunday, I'm hoping to have Christian Eyewear up where you can at least go and sign up. Put your email there if you want to be notified as soon as the frames are available. I'm going to start pre-selling these in the 55 eye size that if you order them even as non-prescription i will they come with tinted sunglass lenses i will upgrade you to polarized they're going to sell for 150 complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or if you want them as non-prescription sunglasses i will upgrade you to polarized in the black the wood color or the purple or if you want to pay and he's going to have to build the site it's coming it's coming if you buy these with a sunglass with a prescription tinted prescription lens i will upgrade you to polarized at no extra charge that's normally a 70 dollars value and i will do that for you at no charge if you pre-order these will be available for sale august 1st if you pre-order before then you will get that so let me get back to robert because he needs glasses well let me take this back he just got a pair last week as soon as he got them he came back and bought a second pair so it's the second pair in two weeks, but he still needs these. So I'm going to take out the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon, that hard shell case that it comes in, carrying bag slash cleaning cloth from Oakley. And inside the cleaning cloth bag, we have the model number 8149 Pitchman R Carbon. Comes with a little plastic sleeve on the temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. 
and this is the carbon fiber temple very strong very lightweight has a built-in bow a curve to it now you cannot adjust a carbon fiber temple they're way too strong you can't bend it down behind the ears like you can with other acetate types of plastic so it has a built-in curvature which wraps around your head now you can have an optician use heat here you can pop the lenses out just like I'm gonna do to cut your lenses take the lenses out the prescription lenses I'm about to install you can have them use heat or the glass bead pans if these were too tight you can bend them outward there or if it's too loose you can bend them inward to make them a little bit more snug no screws to ever come loose in this frame I had talked to an orthopedic surgeon who saw these and said that is the same type of of ball joint that they're doing for knee and hip replacements they may do for shoulder and elbow as well but he does hip and knee so no screws this is titanium will never tarnish rust or corrode and it's the same quality they're doing well i'm speculating same quality they're doing for uh, for medical joint replacements i'm just I'm just four years shy of completing med school, so don't call me doctor yet. So, <laughs> and three years of residency and then specialist and fellowship and all that stuff. So I can't even spell med school at this, at this point. So don't quote me on anything. So, oh, I need to assign you a number. How about number 2646? 2646, you are secret agent 2646. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses? I can program, pop this up. I'm about to program it into the computer, but I can pull up this shape and cut new lenses right to your home, and you're going to see how to install them just like I do. I'm going to hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine Oakley frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipts have my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings and flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now I am an authorized Oakley dealer. I only have a couple safety frames on there now, the deck cord and the shock tube, but eventually I'll have more and more. I've got my website developer working on this project, but I can tell you if there's any Oakley frame that you want, just go to the contact me page of the website. Let me know which model number, size and color, and I will check on it for you. So that's what Robert did. Hit the next button. That's the shape of the lens. If it pops up that I'll be cutting, I need to enter your pupillary distance, which is 33.5 for each eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I tap the plus button twice. I'm gonna raise the optical center up to 24. Change the layout screen from single vision to progressive, because Robert got that 40 year virus, as I call it. Don't worry, I, I got the virus too. Come on in, the water's fine. So. These are your Zeiss prescription lenses that are showing all that there. In fact, your prescription reads minus one, minus a quarter at 120, minus one, minus a quarter at 120. So I'm going to highlight your prescription. At the top, this shows this is your right lens. It is the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lens. The 5.9 stands for 159, the refractive index of polycarbonate and photofusion blue. Now the BP stands for Blue Protect, which is the anti-glare coating. That is your prescription and minus cylinder. Doctors, some old school doctors write in plus cylinder. Opticians do everything in minus cylinder, so that's why that's there. 125 is the, the power of your progressive. And let's go ahead and highlight the left while we're here. Only a minus one sphere for the left eye, one and a quarter strength for the progressive all that information just like that and you know what that's not even enough Zeiss that's what I love about Zeiss and that's why I made the switch over for all my online sales is they document everything next time you go to a doctor and they ask you what are you wearing when they ask you that flippantly or nonchalant hand them this piece of paper and say I'm wearing the Zeiss progressive light D digital freeform progressive lens same thing but from before the 1.59 refractive index photo fusion blue here's the prescription for my right eye here's the prescription for my left eye here's my pupillary distance the 24 is the optical center height 
of where it's going to sit directly in front of your pupil and the base curve of the lens. For people who are base curve sensitive, show this to your doctor and say, match this base curve, please. And of course, the freeform progressive lenses have compensated formulas for the distance, for the reading. And the other nice thing, it tells you the laser engraving, which is on every progressive lens, no matter what brand it is. Zeiss shows you their brand, where they're located nasally and temporally, so you know how to find them. Zeiss, German performance at its finest, German engineering, and that's why I like switching over to them. So, enough about that. I'm just running my mouth today. I'm, I'm back in a good mood. A couple weeks ago, I was a little sad in one of my videos, but life goes on. Make the most of it. So, I need to attach two blocks to your lenses, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I have two double-sided adhesive stickers of which I have here. The black side is the sticky side. Stick that one onto the first one. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. Let's go ahead and take the frame out of there. Get everything laid out. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and barely inset. Get everything laid out here. Enjoy this moment of silence. Always shut up when I when I block lenses. It's my tell. I get quiet when I concentrate. This is I'm aiming. I'm the sniper. I'm lining up the vertical and the horizontal crosshairs to make sure everything is perfect. Hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the right lens. I'm talking, so that means I don't have to concentrate anymore. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Grab your left lens out of the package. And had this not already previously been marked left, I would mark that. And the only reason I did that is so uh, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> you know I had to sneak that in. I'm not letting you get away without a bad joke. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height. I can get a little extra silly, silly with Robert. We've been talking on the phone, emailing, texting, sending him pictures of frames. He works with 30 other people. He's getting them to buy the frames for me. By the way, I can do OSHA safety frames, both Oakley and non-Oakley frames. So if anyone needs them for any federal job sites, I can do that too. Of course, those two Oakleys are on my website, but I can get... I don't have them on my website, but I can get you any frames from Titmus or On Guard or the traditional safety frames that you saw our grandparents wearing uh, in, in woodshop class. Look, I just cut a silhouette lens. You can see the drill holes from that. I can do it all with this machine. So, let's wake up the computer. Job ID number 2646. I've seen that somewhere before. Oh yeah, 2646. Or as I like to call it, installment 2,646 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. And spoiler alert, make sure you watch episode number 330 million because there's going to be a surprise ending. So, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. But we're going to stick with polycarbonate because it's my material of choice. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens because I'm a bad boy. I'm just a rebel. I'm, I'm not going to do it. But I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens because at the end of the day, I'm just a big softy. And I'm going to put a safety bevel there, whether it deserves one or not. So I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm of what I call the chuck. Because actually I call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame first go round. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the right side of the frame. And then this old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which, Robert, you will have none. Based on your prescription in this frame, you will have no edge thickness. Now, I do have a special on edge thickness. But that ended yesterday, so nobody gets free edge thickness without paying for it. If you want super thick lenses, that costs extra. 
you didn't pay for super thick lenses, so you're not getting them. You hear me, Robert? So, but uh, the lens has touched down on the cutting wheel. Your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel for flying debris in their Oakleys. It also has 100% UV A and B protection. It has the most complete UV protection possible. Zeiss goes all the way up to 400 nanometers of UV protection. Everyone else stops at 380. The nice thing about, that's partly another reason why I partnered with Zeiss because for my pink ribbon eyewear, my cancer ribbon eyewear, I'm only gonna offer Zeiss lenses because they have partnered with the American Cancer Society of which I think a portion of all the sales will go to. So, I'm trying to think of a good Christian organization where a portion of all the sales of those can go to. So if you can think of one, let me know. So the lens is on the bevel wheel. Now you have the Zeiss Blue, so water has begun spraying on it, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. In just a moment, a little bevel wheel will come out of the foreground to put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens. Cue the lever. But you have the Photo Fusion Blue, which offers 30 to 40% blue light protection. You have the Zeiss Blue Protect Anti-Glare Coating, which offers additional layer of blue protection. Now, it's also an anti-glare coating, which it does three things. It reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, street lights, stop lights, computer screens, as well as overhead fluorescent lights, street lights, stop lights. The second feature is it goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating. So it reduces reflections for people who look at you. So it makes for much better eye contact if someone... Uh, also, if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see your phone in the lens, or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see the flash lit up in the lens. So, I'm just going to get all the last of the optical sawdust off. I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner. The reason why you always hear me say I don't put a safety bevel on the front surface of the lens is really not that rough. But I do put one on the rear surface because if the lens is too large to go in the first time, and let's see as I run my fingers around, it snaps in there easily. But if it were too large, I don't want any sharp edges coming in contact with your frame as I press down onto it. I do not want to mar your frame. I'm going to take this block off, pull the sticker aside, use my hand approved drying method, throw that back in there, add to my sticker collection. And let's go ahead and come down here, flip this over to L which is Latin, oops, something's itching, something's itching, got to move that out of the way. Latin for not right. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, the Chuckarama. That's my homage to Rob Schneider, or today I'm calling it the Robert. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts just like before. And what do you know, the two white stylus is going to go around and make sure the lens is large enough to fit into the left side. And you can see as it's tracing the left side of the frame. First making sure it's large enough and then measuring where to place the measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness. Robert, look at that. You got nothing. You got no edge thickness there. I'm telling you, you didn't pay for edge thickness, so you're not getting it. By the way, starting tomorrow, our all lenses will be mercury and radioactive free. <laughs> but uh, come back tomorrow, Robert, and I'll, I'll make you another pair. So we're going to come down here to the lensometer. I'm going to put it in over that black dot. Spin the axis wheel. Come on, you're stealing my show. Turn the axis wheel to 120. Read the power and I am getting minus one, exactly halfway between zero and two, which is where you will find one. And the red numbers in the minus. You are a myope. Hyperopes are plus numbers in black. Now, with your glasses off, everything is much too large. So that's why there's a minus sign. Your lenses are minified. Four steps. Everything starts in quarter increments. Well, it starts at zero, which we in the industry call Plano, which people in Texas call a city. 
but it goes up in quarter increments 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 one winner winner chicken dinner so you have you're on the fourth rung of a ladder to make everything the correct size now once everything is the correct size you have the smallest amount of astigmatism correction you can have uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters p and f think of it as the fine two knob we're going to turn that fine two knob to 120 which i've already done but let's check the second curvature and we're at minus one and a quarter now same amount of far-sided correction for the left eye four steps but you need none for the for the left no astigmatism correction for the left now your bifocal strength the add it's called the add because it means in addition to what's on top so you pretty much can read with your glasses off it's just once everything gets beyond arm's reach you have trouble seeing that so he could get by with single vision glasses and then take them on and off to read but that gets old after a while so most people just say just give me something i'll wear the whole time now the oakley 8149 pitchman r carbon sells for 230 the zeiss progressive light d digital freeform progressive lens adds 149.99 the photo fusion blue where you can choose from gray brown green or blue adds 99.99 and the Blue Protect Anti-Glare Coating is $99.99 for a total of $579.97 tax-free. The reason why I always like to point out tax-free now is I'm in North Carolina. Well, let me back up and say a lot of people have to charge tax on the internet now. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. I do not have to charge tax for a medical device. So that's why I will be tax-free until the laws change. Let's just say I did have my, if you were to find someone on the internet selling all that for that price, which would be hard to do, my state sales tax is 7.5%. So let's type in 579.97 times 7.5%. You would owe an additional $43.47. You don't owe me that, Robert. Keep that money in your pocket. Or do something special for your wife, your family friends whatever you want to do it's up to you stock up on food stock up on pokemon <laughs> stock up on... all right that i don't know where that one came from i'm just all right now i'm just embarrassing myself all right so i'm gonna add to my sticker collection place the frame into the lensometer read the power and i'm actually getting the same power all over at minus one minus one this what i'm doing here this here come on you guys paying attention is known as final inspection i'm doing an inspection to make sure the lenses are cut to the exact power they're supposed to be now i'm going to measure the pupillary distance 33.5 for each eye is a total of 100 no wait 67 i knew i'd get it right if you gave me enough tries but so PD is 67, optical center height of 24. So I'm gonna turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb. And when I hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 67 millimeters. That is cut perfectly. Optical center height, not to the bottom of the lens. You hear me repeating, but to the middle of the plastic, because that's actually where the lens goes down into. That is the deepest portion of the lens, which you can actually see in this frame, 24. 24 now one more part in the final inspection is to make sure your frames are in standard alignment but as i clean your lenses i like to mention to everyone that when you get these in the mail robert there is a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and i'm no different and uh, I'll show you in just a moment, but because 80% of people have one ear higher than the other, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I take off these spatula temples and I press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. I need to be rocking these today. Brown and blue are my colors. I'm almost always wearing a blue shirt. I like the brown slacks, the brown shoes. Always got to be matching. Look, at my age, my game is so weak, you, you just got to match to look good. So, but, I'm, you know, Robert's getting the same exact frame that I'm wearing, except something tells me he's going to make it look better than I do. 
Now our prescriptions are almost identically opposite. Does that make sense? He is a minus one in each eye with a quarter astigmatism. I'm a plus one in each eye with a quarter astigmatism in both eyes. His natural eyes are these. Mine are about this. So my eyeballs are in his lenses. His eyeballs are in my lenses without wearing anything. Does that make sense? His natural prescription. So for me to see like Robert does with no glasses on, I have to put mine on. For him to see like I do with no glasses on, he has to put his on. Oh, my phone's ringing. Someone's trying to call me. I'll get that after the video. But again, it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses. So if the, um, flip these over, press down, no wobble. So when you get these in the mail, if they need any adjustments, just stop by your local place and just tell them what's up. They will know what to do. So this is what your lenses look like before they've been activated, which means exposed to a strong burst of ultraviolet light, of which I will do. So this is the Photofusion Blue in a polished clear frame. I'm going to tuck it in here. And as you can see, and turn on the UV light, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now, Robert and everyone else listening, this is important. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time the photochromic transition lenses won't darken is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your upholstery to rot or your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. And that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, Zeiss makes a Photofusion extra gray lens that will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. It only comes in gray. It doesn't come in this blue yet or I'd be rocking a pair. Now, as I keep talking, you will see these getting lighter and lighter. Now, Zeiss, had, Zeiss invented the photochromic lens. They also inv invented anti-glare. They had the Generation 8 technology before Essilor did. And that's another reason I switched over because I could get them in blue way last year, long before Essilor could come out with something in 2020. But they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I'd like to remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Now, having said that, the Photofusion Extra Gray will get darker in hotter weather because it's designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. So, as I keep talking, you can see these turning back to virtually clear. So do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon so you can get future notifications of frames and lens combinations as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. Again, I am an authorized Oakley dealer, even though I don't have the frames on my website yet. If there's a frame that you want, go to the Contact Me page of the website. Just let me know which model number, size, and color you want. If you really want to be nice, upload a picture of your prescription and PD, your pupillary distance. Tell me which lens options you want like this or anti-glare or polarized or mirrored. And I'll check on price and, and let you know exact availability of everything. So you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But Robert in Midvale, Utah, thank you so much for your second pair of glasses in as many weeks. And of course, you're getting a third pair next week. Your wife's getting a pair of Ray-Bans with the Zeiss red mirrored lenses. And his co-workers have started to purchase from me from some of my brands. And he had just texted me today to let me know that his sister wants a pair of the cancer ribbon I wear as soon as they come out. So again, thank you for the purchase of the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon with your Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses. With the Photofusion Blue, again, you can get the photochromatic lenses in either gray, brown, green, or the blue that I just demonstrated. There's four types of anti-glare, DuraVision Chrome, DuraVision Silver, the DuraVision Platinum, which has a blue hue, which is comparative Crizal Sapphire, but for $40 less. Or this one, the DuraVision Blue Protect, which sells for $99.99, which is like Crizal Provencia, but is $20 less than Provencia. But again, thanks to you for the purchase. Thank you for the continued support of all you do for me and my company. It is very much appreciated. You could buy your glasses from anyone on the internet, but you chose a, an independent optician. 
With over 21 years experience cutting over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses, I am a licensed optician. I went to college for this. Every pair of lenses are handcrafted here in the United States and I do thank you for that for keeping the jobs here. And hopefully now everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.